Welcome back, young scientists. It's King Thorn here to embark on another thrilling adventure in the world of matter. Today, I'm faced with a puzzling mystery. Just yesterday, I poured myself a steaming cup of tea. However, I got caught up in some royal business and I completely forgot about it. When I finally remembered today, I noticed something odd. There seemed to be less tea in my cup. Where could it have gone? Did it vanish into thin air? In today's scientific quest, we'll uncover the truth behind this mystery and learn 1. What happens to matter when it seems to disappear 2. How to measure changes in matter and 3. Why the total amount of matter stays the same even when it changes forms Are you ready to solve this royal conundrum? Let's dive in! If you remember our last lesson, everything around us is made of tiny particles of matter. Today, we're going to discover something amazing about these particles. These particles cannot be created or destroyed. This concept is known as the conservation of matter. It means that no matter what changes or reactions occur, the total amount of matter always remains the same. While it might change form, it never just vanishes. Now, let's try a royal experiment to see conservation of matter in action. For this experiment, you'll need a clear plastic bag, some ice cubes, and a marker. Are you ready? Let's begin. Step 1. Place a few ice cubes in the plastic bag and seal it tightly. Step 2. Use your marker to trace the outline of the ice cubes on the outside of the bag. Step 3. Wait for about 10 minutes and observe what happens. Pause the video and discuss with a partner. What did you notice? The ice melted, right? This shows us an important idea. Matter is conserved. This means that even though the ice changed into water, the total amount of matter stayed the same. None of the water particles left the bag. They just changed from solid ice to liquid water. So, no matter how things change, the same amount of matter is always there. Now, let's take a look at my mysterious disappearing tea. Since tea is a liquid, what do you think happened to it while I was away? Take a moment to discuss your thoughts with a partner or think about it quietly. Great ideas, everyone! Now, you're right, the tea did not simply disappear. It transformed from a liquid into a gas through a process known as evaporation. The heat from the tea caused some water particles to gain energy, making them move faster and escape into the air as water vapor. Huh, mystery solved. Let's think about some other examples of matter changing form. Here are a few. Melting ice cream. When you leave ice cream out on a hot day, it melts from a solid into a liquid. The heat makes the ice cream particles move faster, turning it into a tasty puddle. Condensation on a cold glass. If you pour a cold drink on a warm day, you might notice droplets forming on the outside of the glass. This happens when water vapor in the air cools down and turns back into liquid water. The gas is turning into a liquid. Burning a candle. When you light a candle, the wax, which is solid, melts into liquid as it heats up. Then, as a candle burns, the liquid wax changes into gas and goes into the air. Even though it looks like the candle is disappearing, the matter is still there. It's just changing form. How about baking bread? When you bake bread, the ingredients mix together and undergo a chemical reaction. The heat causes the dough to rise, transforming it from a wet mixture to a fluffy loaf. The gas is produced by the yeast escape, but the total amount of matter remains the same. These examples show us that matter can change from one form to another, but it never disappears. It just takes on a new shape or state. Understanding the conservation of matter helps us make sense of changes in our world. 
It's why we can recycle materials, why our planet's water cycle keeps working, and yes, why my tea seems to disappear, but it's just really becoming part of the air around us. Bravo, young scientists. You've unraveled the mystery of conservation of matter. For your keen observations and deductive reasoning, I proudly present you with another Argo star. Congratulations on all your hard work today. Now, let's review what we've discovered and learned today. 1. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. 2. The total amount of matter stays the same, even when it changes form. And 3. We can measure these changes to prove that matter is conserved. As for my disappearing tea, now I know it's not gone. It's just taken a different form of its own little adventure through the air. Perhaps next time I'll drink it before getting distracted by the dragons. Remember, young scientists, in our kingdom and beyond, matter is always changing but never disappearing. Keep your eyes open for the many transformations of matter in your world. Until our next exploration, this is King Thorn bidding you farewell and reminding you to keep questioning and observing the wonders around you. <laughs>